Hi everyone. Um, another pattern. This one, I'm not too sure how you pronounce this one either. Come on, open it. This one is by Cheryl Lee's Haley. It's Core Chain, maybe. Um, oops, you're a little far away. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Um, step number one is you're going to do some sort of they're not all the same shape, I've, I see, and they're kind of in a row with a space in between. Sort of a random, long, skinny kind of a shapes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how to describe them, but random, long, skinny sort of shapes in, in a row with a space in between. And then in the space that's in between, you're going to want to put a circle. Okay. Some of them are squishier than others, right? And apparently that is it. That's the whole thing. And so then it looks like this. I like this with a little bit bigger space in between. And look at they put a drop shadow. Uh, I like that a lot. So apparently it's some sort of chain of coral. I'm assuming it, it, it was uh, inspired by a coral chain necklace, perhaps. Uh, looks like it's something we can handle. There is uh, the string number 23 again, or no, not 23, 25. String 25 again. I'm going to go ahead and put those like right in here, in this part, and in this part, and then maybe behind I will stick something else. I'm going to use this as my as my kind of guide. I'm going to put sort of a like that. I'm just going to do a bunch of them. Some bigger, some smaller. They're all going to have a random kind of a, a thing to them. Oops, that one's a little not round enough, I don't think, but... I'm going to do like that. And then put some circles in between. Busley. I think it does need one round one at the end. Feels like that's how it needs to be. And then I'm going to Maybe do some more that going this way somehow. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this so that I have some sort of overlap and something interesting happening on the page. Because that's just not going to cut it. It needs something else. Do I want to go this way? That's It's going to be too hard overlapping. Uh, maybe I'll just, just bend it here. Just doing random kind of shapes like so. I'm just going to do this and bring this circle 
down like that. That kind of goes, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. That's better. Okay, so now I have this sort of thing happening here. Um, I need something in the background though. I can't just do just that. That's just not enough. Um, I'm thinking. thinking it's it's gonna come to me it just might take it a moment well while it comes to me I'm gonna fill in these little things and I'm gonna leave a little white spot as like a little sparkle Just a little bit. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm thinking. No, I don't like that sparkle either. I have too much of a crescent. I think I need less crescenty. That's better. Okay. More of a just a spot and less of a crescent. Yeah, I like that better. Um, what do I want? Do I want something grid-like in the background? Do I want something like almost not there? big um, this is where you just kind of have to let your mind just kind of let go and try to f just go with what your gut tells you to do. Um, Do I see? I'm gonna close my eyes for a moment and I'm gonna kind of squint at the at the tile. I see sand swirl, but I see it really light, like almost like pencil. So I'm wondering if I don't want the pencil in there. I'm wondering if I want to use my gray pen and get out the lightest one I have, which would be this. It's a pit pen. It's a, it's a, it is a uh, brush pen, but it is, this one is the, it's a warm gray. I thought I want the cool gray. Let me look at the colors. I'm just going to take this scrap piece of paper and I'm going to just play with just a second. Like 
that one. I want this warm one because it's almost invisible. That's what I want, this warm gray. So it's actually the lightest color. And I think I'm gonna do some sand swirl in the background. I wanna get rid of all this pencil though. I don't wanna see any of it. Okay. Okay. That's what I feel like it wants. It wants some sand swirl in the background, very lightly. Ever so slightly. Don't know why this is what it said it wanted to do. I've never done anything. I mean, I've done sand swirl before. Lots of times you've seen me do sand swirl, but I've never done it in the background in gray before. Very strange what it wants me to do. And, and you know what? It's, what's really weird is I had this urge to do this on another tile earlier in the week. And, and then it said no. That's not what it wanted. But apparently, this is something that's been in the back of my mind for a while to do this. Because... I really had this urge to do this on a different tile. Very, very interesting. It's interesting what your mind will do when you just let it just do what it's gonna do.
I have to be really careful not to push too hard on this because it's a brush pen and it's really not meant for fine lines, but it's kind of it's kind of where I went here. If you're watching um, yesterday's thing and I had that that problem in the back of my head and I was having a hard time getting it out of my head, uh, I solved it. So that's good. Um, it did turn out it was the way the directory, the online directory worked is that if you wanted to view it offline, it created a PDF. Um, but when you uh, updated the online version, it did not update the PDF unless you did it manually. And therefore this person was accessing the PDF and not the online version. And since that's what they were accessing, they were accessing an old version. So I figured it out. I'm glad I figured it out. Oops, somebody's texting me. Let's see. My husband. I will have to answer him. He's just going to have to wait just a moment while I finish this portion here. Is that good? Does it look complete? Looks like it needs something in here. better okay it needed some sort of background but I didn't want it to overpower the tangle itself so that's what I did so I am going to do a little bit of shading right here on this side and I am going to put a bit of a drop shadow I do like that drop shadow And you'll notice I'm, I'm connecting the shadow to the object um, just at that one point so that it, it relates and it will look better after I get it all smudged. Right now it doesn't look quite right, but it will get there.
We'll see what happens when I do that. I may not like it. I may erase the whole darn thing. We'll see what happens when it starts smudging. It's okay. bit of smudging. Okay, that will do. Yeah, that'll do. That, that's different than anything I've done so far, I think. Um, this is sign it there. C O R C H A N E and string twenty five. Okay. Well, I think I did it. It looks different than anything I've done so far. That's, that's, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. And I managed to figure out my issue from before, so my head was clear. And I just went for it. And look, at it was a fairly short video, which is good. And now I need to text my husband back and I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, you guys have a good day. Um, you know, go out and bless somebody's life today and yours will be blessed in return. Um, you guys have a really, really great day. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.